Hello, gorgeous NFA money mamas. I'm so psyched for today's episode because we're going to dive into one of my favorite topics, one that I'm really a genius at helping you master because I've learned to master it myself. It is the three-step manifestation formula to get faster results. So I want you to try this formula that I'm going to teach you today. And when I say I'm a, I'm a master at it, what that means is that I've been practicing. So in 2021, I decided it is time for me to learn the art and science of manifestation. And so I've read a ton of books, taken classes. I have taken workshops, all kinds of stuff to piece together the simplest manifesting formula. And at the end, I'm going to give you a domain to get a cheat sheet to download exactly what we're talking about today. And my goal here is to help you feel competent and confident at manifesting because it gets really fun when you realize that you get to be the deliberate creator of your reality. I felt really fortunate when I ran into manifesting. And at first I thought, oh my God, I could never teach this because people would think I'm silly. <laughs> and here I am. It's one of my favorite topics. It took a little while for me to get over this. I really thought this is super woo woo and people are going to think I'm weird and yikes. But I wanted to learn it for myself because I kept running into these principles over and over again. And as I was running into them and starting to read books and dive into it, it was working. And I was like, hmm, if this works for me, it's going to work for everyone else. And you know that I love to bring you strategies that work. And so when you're thinking about manifesting, the first thing I want you to realize is that you're always manifesting, whether you're conscious of it or not. Okay, so you this morning, let's say you got up and you decided I want a cup of tea. And you went to your kitchen and you made the cup of tea and then you had the cup of tea. You manifested it. We often overcomplicate the process of manifesting and we think it's really challenging or we can't figure out why it's not working. And the first reason is because you don't believe it's possible and you don't understand how to use these universal laws to your benefits. And so that's really what I'm going to break down for you today. Three easy steps that you can follow. I'm going to teach you where people get stuck where I've gotten stuck. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of examples and then you're going to get a cheat sheet so you can start practicing every day by yourself. And perhaps you're someone who has already done a lot of manifesting. This is still going to give you some ideas and validate what you know. If you are on the fence about manifesting and you think, all right, this is a little crazy. I don't know if this works. I want to give you the challenge to test it out. Try this for 30 days every single day and see what happens. And you will, I will, it's impossible for you to not see miracles because we're talking about quantum physics. We're talking about universal truths, universal laws that work, whether you believe them or not. Again, it's like manifesting that cup of tea. The reason that you can manifest a cup of tea easily is because you believe it's possible to do. The reason you can manifest a vacation is because you believe it's possible to do. The reason that you can't manifest bigger things is because you have doubt and uncertainty about it. And any time we're injecting doubt and uncertainty, it expands the time of manifestation. So I want to help you understand how to shrink the time of manifestation so that you can manifest faster. So let's get into this three step cheat sheet and help you know exactly what to do. OK, so let's start with step number one. First, what you're going to do in step number one is that you're going to decide what you want and believe it's possible. Okay. This is how the law of attraction works. So this is based on the law of attraction. And these are very important words that I use in here intentionally. So step number one, decide what you want, believe it's possible. That decision part is really powerful. And this is where people often get stuck is that they think, I don't know what I want. And mostly it's because they're unconsciously afraid to say what they want because they haven't gotten what they've wanted in the past. And so it's a little bit scary to put out there, hey, I want this because if you haven't gotten it, your subconscious mind is already telling you you're full of crap because why would you want that if you haven't been able to get it in the past? And so 
something you want to do here is get clear about what you want. Allow yourself to think a little bit bigger, but just stretch in small increments. OK, so if you are afraid to, to dream really big, just take a small stretch. OK, so you're going to start with something that you believe is 100 percent possible, and then you're going to prove to yourself that you can manifest it. And then you're going to be able to think a little bit bigger on the next round. And an example here would be when I started my business, I was on food stamps. And I went to these workshops and conferences where I'd meet all these coaches who were making six figures plus. Some of them were making seven and eight figures. And I was like, holy moly, it planted the seed in my mind that it was possible to do. I thought if they can do it, I can do it. And I started to shift my mindset from hanging out with, at the time I was hanging out with a whole bunch of professors and grad students who weren't making a lot of money and were feeling pretty stuck and stressed. And so their income was very capped. You know, when you have a job, often you don't get to just determine whatever amount of money you make. And you're stuck in the mindset of the people around you because that's kind of the cultural paradigm and the way that everyone thinks in that setting. So when I was going to these workshops and I started to stretch my thinking and I started to see all these awesome, incredible women making tons of money in their businesses and doing exactly what they love, I thought, heck, I can do this. And so I, I walked away from my first conference that I ever went to. And I was like, I'm setting the goal to go six figures in my first year. I got very clear. So I took step number one. I decided that what I wanted to create and that I was intentionally going to create was a six figure business. And I had no idea how this was going to happen. I just thought, if they can do it, I can do it. And I'm going to learn everything I can. OK. And I had that belief powerfully that I could do it. Now, with the law of attraction, you're attracting to you what you believe to be true. You've got to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So Neville Goddard said, assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Why this is important is because the way that you feel is what magnetizes to you what you're feeling. So if you feel high vibe, you feel joy, you feel good, you feel flowing, you feel belief, you feel certainty, it's going to magnetize to you a lot more quickly. If you have fear and you have doubt and you keep wavering back and forth about what you want, the universe doesn't know how to bring it to you, right? It's like you getting in the car and instead of plugging into the GPS, let's say Google Maps, where you want to go, you plug something in and you start driving and then you change it. And then you change it and you change it. And Google's like, I'm not sure how to get you where you want to go because you're not telling me where you want to go. Another fun example here. I like to think about this as the universal uh, like gourmet kitchen where you can order anything you want. So you go sit down in this restaurant and the server comes up and asks you what you want. And you go, I don't know, bring me whatever's good. And you could literally order anything you want, but you're not sure. So you ask the server to bring you whatever they think is good. They bring something to you and they set it in front of you and you go, I didn't want this. What the heck? And they're like, you didn't tell me what you wanted. So I brought you something for you to test it out and get clear on what you do want. And so that is why we do and don't get what we want. When we're not clear, the universe will bring us some randomness for us to create under the law of contrast what we do want. And so contrast is helpful, but notice how it slows down the time of manifestation. So if you want to get fast results, you got to get clear and you got to believe it. And you've got to state it clearly. So you want to declare to yourself in your journal daily that here's what I'm working toward. Here's what I'm playing toward. Here's what I'm attracting. Yes, yes, yes. And I want you to visualize it and step into the feeling of the wish fulfilled. See yourself with this thing that you're manifesting and start to daydream and visualize, sleep, eat, breathe it and know that it's possible. Right. And you're going to take steps along the way and you're going to have you're going to come up with moments of doubts. You know, when I was building that six figure business in the first year, I wasn't certain I could do it in a year. I just thought I see other people doing it and I'm going to keep doing step number two. So step number two is take immediate action in the direction of what you want to manifest. OK, this is the law of cause and effect. So take immediate action in the direction of what you want to manifest. So you'll notice how when you have number one going on, you've decided something with certainty and clarity and you believe it's possible. You're automatically going to take action. You will know that you are having issues with number one and not knowing what you want when you're not taking action in number two. So if you are inspired from within you know something is certain and it's 100% believable to you, you will not procrastinate. You will not have a day of procrastinating because you will be on fire in inspired action every single day. 
And you won't have to know how to get from step A to step Z. You just need to take one small step from step A to step B. Okay. And this is where people get stuck. They go, oh my God, I don't even know how to get started. I'm not sure what to do. And I'm scared that I've got to know all the answers. And this is related to step number three. So I'm going to interweave in and out of one, two, and three. So number three is you've got to trust the universe to take care of the house. And this is the law of surrender. Okay. And this ties to step number two, because what you're going to do is what Rumi said. I love this quote. He said, as you start to walk on the way, the way appears. As you start to walk on the way, the way appears. So when you, in number one, decide what you want, and you believe it's possible. You take a step on the way and the way keeps appearing. And the way that it keeps appearing is that the universe takes care of the house and it starts bringing you opportunities because you're clear, you're decisive, you're taking action. And now the universe can fulfill what it is that you are deliberately manifesting because it knows what you want. Now your resonance and your vibration is in your vibration is in resonance with that which you say you want. Okay. And when I use the word want here, I'm not talking about this longing neediness. I'm talking about clarity of intention and desire and belief. We're not saying I, I wish someday I would have something. You know, sometimes we I talk about don't use the word want in this context. It's that you're very clear about what you want and you're taking intentional action. That's much more of a, a creative fire force than it is a, a longing and a daydreaming and wishing and hoping that and then you'll never get it because you're not clear in your aligned actions. Okay. So, so, okay, let, let's break this down and let's, let's keep playing with this. Okay. So under the law of attraction, when you decide and you believe that it's true, you're sending out a very clear frequency to the universe. When you're taking action, action is always going to be aligned with your belief system. So remember, if you believe something is 100% possible, you're automatically going to be taking inspired action. There's not going to be any trouble with procrastination. And what this is under the law of cause and effect is that you're sowing and reaping, sowing and reaping. And your actions are allowing you to manifest, allowing your manifestations to unfold. So your actions are the cause and the effect is the manifestation is unfolding rapidly. You can have things happen really fast, the more certain you are. So the certainty is indicated to the universe by you taking action immediately. So when you get that inspired idea and you feel like, yes, I believe in this, take action immediately. And then what happens under number three is that the universe can bring you accelerated and expansive opportunities because you're on track, you're clear, your vibrational frequency is matched to that which you're manifesting, and it can come so fast. And this is about the law of surrender. So I want to say where people get stuck in this one, trusting the universe to take care of the house. And what I mean by that is take care of the opportunities, take care of the pathways, take care of how you're going to manifest this thing. So let's go back to the example of me building a six figure business in my first year. I really didn't know what I was doing when I started. I started going to networking events and just randomly saying things. And but I was on fire and I was, I believed in what I had and what I knew. And I knew that I could help people. And so I thought, I'm just going to take action in the direction. I don't know how I'm going to scale to six figures. I'm just going to keep taking action, keep taking a step and the way will appear, keep taking a step and the way will appear. So I went from step A to step B, so B to C, C to D. And I just kept going. I didn't need to know A to Z. I just knew A to B and then B to C. So just take one small step every day. Part of this was huge surrender. <laughs> In my first year, I was at about month eight and I wasn't that close yet. I was maybe at like $45,000 and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I had started getting accelerated opportunities. People started coming to me like in my email, they'd be asking me to meet with them and say like, let's collaborate. And so I took every opportunity I got. I really didn't like say no to many people. I, I did, I don't know, 150 coffee talks on, on in networking. I mean, I went for it completely. Th those were online networking. In person, when I networked, I would do coffee talks in person, like coffee connection. And I had almost 100% conversion rate because I had such solid belief. But this wasn't really scalable to the six-figure mark yet. And so I needed more people coming my way. And so you know, here, like here I was in the eighth month and I was like, oh my God, I don't know if this is going to happen. And of course I had ebbs and flows in my belief system and I was scared and I just kept on track doing my money mindset work and doing all the things that I teach you. And I, I'd have down days where I was like, oh God, 
can I do this? I don't know what's going to happen. And I kept surrendering. I kept surrendering and I kept going, okay, I just trust the universe is going to bring me something because I'm so clear that this is going to happen. And I'm just going to trust. I'm going to let go and I'm going to trust and I'm not going to force and I'm going to choose to just keep going in the direction. And in this first year, I did work a lot harder than I work now because I understand these principles much, much more clearly. <laughs> but I, I look back and I'm like, this is what I was doing. And now my time of manifestation gets faster because I have less doubt and, and more faith and I'm able to surrender more. So people get really stuck in this surrendering place. So if you can, to the best of your capabilities, I want you to let go and surrender. Okay. And what this surrendering looks like is that you don't need to map out every detail. Uh, you just need to keep taking steps in the direction and let the universe bring you opportunities. And they're often going to be ones that are much easier and much more aligned and in ways that you could have never planned for. So this example here is when I was in that eighth month, all of a sudden I had this person reach out and say, we want you to do a speaking, like a, an online speaking gig with our community. And we want to start bringing people to you to work with. And it was amazing. I ended up in those last four months breaking through beyond six, uh, beyond my $8,334 a month, which is a six figure income. And I made more than six figures in that first year. And it was incredible. And I could have never planned that. You can't say, oh, I'm in, I'm going to meet someone who's going to give me a huge opportunity. You can have ideas around it. But really what I did is I clearly decided and I kept taking steps in the direction. So for me, what that looked like was I had a podcast and I, and I was weekly doing releases and I was posting those on social media and I was consistent because again, in step two, you're taking immediate action because you've decided and clearly stated what you're manifesting and you believe in it. So that's what I was doing. I was taking action every single week. I was consistent, consistent, consistent in releasing. And I know some of you out there are putting out content and you're going, oh my God, I'm just hearing crickets and I don't know how anything big is ever going to happen. And so I want to encourage you here that consistency matters. And what's behind that is that belief. Like, do you believe it's possible to be highly successful doing what you love to do in your business? And I'm going to keep encouraging you because I know it's possible. I've done it and I help other people do it. And I know you can do it too. And so stay encouraged, stay on track and trust the universe to take care of the opportunities. I promise you, if you live by this three-step formula and you practice it on a daily basis, you will see incredible results. I've used this to manifest this, my six-figure business. It grows every year. I, it gets easier and easier. I've used it to manifest my husband, my house I'm currently in that is awesome that we bought on three quarters of an acre. I used to live in subsidized housing. I used to be on food stamps not that long ago. And when I started learning these principles and implementing them, I realized that there is a rule book to life. I used to think like, oh, we're just kind of thrown in and you got to figure it out. But the universal laws are your solution. They are your rule book because they work 100% of the time. And so if you follow this three-step formula, you're going to notice that life gets a lot easier. Money making gets a lot easier. Finding new clients gets a lot easier. And it's a lot about trust and surrender. So you're going to you're going to use the law of attraction. Let's sum this up. In step number 1, decide what you want and believe it's possible. Step number 2, take immediate action in the direction of what you want to manifest. And number three, trust the universe to take care of the house. And on the cheat sheet that you can download, I've given really clear bullet points. I'll put it on the stream here just for a minute, but it's a, it's a really simple cheat sheet that gives you the exact process. And if you want this cheat sheet, you're going to go to manifestmoneyinyourbusiness.com, manifestmoneyinyourbusiness.com, and you can download this three-step cheat sheet and it'll give you the exact strategies. And I also send you an email with the way that I use it and my clients use it as a journaling method so that you can start to manifest more easily. And of course, send questions to me here. I love to hang out with you. I love to connect with you. So either connect with me on social media at NFA Money. I'm on Instagram the most. So at NFA Money. 
take a screenshot of this episode and ask me whatever you want, share how it's impacting you. Or if you're on YouTube, you can just leave a comment here. And I love, love, love getting to know my people. I love learning how these strategies that I'm teaching you here are working for you. And especially I want to hear what you're manifesting and how fun this process can be for you. And I know where people get stuck again in the first phase, it's that you don't know if you believe that it's possible. You don't know, you don't usually think big enough. So you don't state clearly what you want. You waver back and forth on step number two. Most people get stuck because they don't believe, then they don't take action. They procrastinate, they hesitate, which makes manifestation time take longer. And in step number three, they get stuck with this experience of trying to hyper control everything because when we're scared we want to plan and the plan gets us you know we feel organized and in control when we have a plan the problem is when you cling to the plan and you're too attached to it the universe can't bring you easier ways because it's like you saying no to the universe bringing you something easier because you've got this plan you're like i know it i'm doing it even if it doesn't feel good hell or high water i'm going this direction and you make it a lot harder on yourself which is really a money block of thinking that you've got to work hard to make money instead of the, letting the universe manifest the easiest way possible for you so get the cheat sheet it's very detailed and it will help you in this three-step manifestation formula thanks for being with me today i love sharing my wisdom and knowledge and experience with you and until next time i'm sending you big hugs and nfa money making high five